All right, guys, well, we are out at the range finally, and we are going to be testing out um, the 410 Thumper. <laughs> uh, one of you guys uh, suggested that name, so I was like, yeah, we'll go with it. Thumper, I like it. If you could, uh, you know, hunt Thumper with it, or you could give somebody a good thump with it, so sucker weighs like 10 pounds. We're gonna be running some just federal three inch shells through it and some Winchester two and a half inch shells through it. So definitely gonna be using the um, string on the trigger method for those of you who saw my last shotgun video. Um, I was glad I did it with that for sure because it blew up on me. So this, I'm feeling pretty good about this one though. I've uh, I've already done a build where I'm basically using this exact same stuff um, and it held up just fine. So, just get right to it. Here it goes. Get her eyes and ears on. Okay, so uh, the first shot went well. It looks like there is no issues. Um, so we're just going to step it up to the 3 inch. I'm going to put like 3 or 4 rounds through it, uh, maybe a few more off camera. Um, do a little bit closer inspection uh, before we start um, actually firing it by hand. So, uh, yep, 3 inch, I already got one in the chamber, so let's do it. guys well <laughs> this is pretty sweet um, after a few more rounds off camera and uh, a little bit closer inspection everything looks pretty good with it um, like I said I had already built a gun using the same uh, tubing that I used for the uh, chamber and it held up just fine so I wasn't too worried about it uh, the barrel seems to be staying in place well and no issues so let's uh, load up some more rounds and we'll wreak some havoc on some soda bottles or something. This thing is so awesome. So, 
One thing that is really surprising uh, now that I've shot it, uh, actually holding it, there is like virtually no recoil with this. Um, probably just because the thing weighs like 10 pounds, but it really just doesn't kick. Well, and I'm using, you know, pretty light bird shot loads, so. Anyway, those are the two and a half inch though. I'll load up some three inch and uh, we'll, we'll see how that feels. <laughs> All right, got the big old one and a quarter liter diet. All right, guys, so it is working really well. I am very, very happy about this. But it is freezing out here, so we're just gonna run up to the house and we'll talk about it a little bit more. I'll show you guys some of the shells that are coming out of here and we'll see if there's any kind of case head separating or you know, any issues like that. So I was actually really impressed with the way they looked. Um, there's no case head separation. Uh, nice, nice dent right in the primer. Um, so I know we're not having any issues with uh, light primer strikes. So yeah, they looked really well. The back's not, um, you know, kind of like f bent out a little bit from the uh, force coming back, which tells me that the shells are seated uh, really nicely against this rear plate um, and they as you could see they uh, came out nice and easy so um, here's another this is a three inch actually the one I just showed you was a two and a half so so yeah definitely really happy with that all right guys well overall I would say that was definitely a success um, there's always room for improvements uh, somewhere uh, on this. One of them is that I'm not sure if you could tell when I was shooting, but um, every once in a while, this little safety lever that I have, it just um, kind of falls back and forth really easily. So I think what I'm going to do is just basically get like a, a thin rubber washer and just kind of pinch it between the safety and the sidewall just to create some tension so when I push it forward it kind of stays actually in that position and uh, likewise in the safety position either so that's no big deal I'll just take a sec to do but it was something that um, was kind of annoying when I was actually in the field shooting so um, overall guys I am really happy with this uh, Something I did not get a chance to do, um, it was really cold and so the battery on the camera actually died prematurely so I didn't uh, get all the footage I wanted outside but anyway I wanted to figure out what kind of spread uh, this thing has. A couple of things that I was really, or I guess one thing that I was really surprised about though was even with the 3 inch shells this thing had virtually no kick at all really. I mean it was you know it it kind of you could feel like a little bit of a pop but I mean nothing you could shoot this thing all day long it was very easy to handle and so a couple reasons I think for that uh, one this is <laughs> probably weighs at least five pounds okay it is uh, it's a beast okay so um, the and, and all the weight obviously you can see you know the handle being back here all the weight is forward so 
Um, it just helps counter that uh, muzzle rise, I guess, um, whatever you want to call it. And another thing, I, I, I can't say this for with 100% certainty because I don't uh, have really slow motion to be able to tell what's going on, but basically with this barrel, you know, being able to come forward, I can almost bet you that when that shot goes off, the force is pushing this barrel forward and therefore losing some of the um, gases out the um, chamber, which, you know, obviously is creating less of a thrust on that shot shell. So um, my guess is the velocity probably isn't extremely um, high coming out of this, but um, you know, maybe that is something I'll actually, maybe I will uh, make another video. Uh, you guys leave a comment, let me know if that's something you'd want to see. Um, what I just had in mind is, you know, doing some form of like a penetrating test with this, like set up some, you know, plywood or something and, you know, see, see what different thicknesses it'll shoot through. So anyway, in addition to the, you know, the spread, how, uh, how fast the shot is um, spreading out on it. So. I don't, uh, I'm staying away from shooting slugs through this uh, because, you know, I can, with shooting shot shell, you know, it's much more forgiving if this chamber isn't exactly lined up with this barrel, okay? So if I, if I run a slug through here and, you know, for some reason this barrel isn't just right, um, <laughs> uh, we'll have some serious issues. So I'm going to stick with shot shell now. You know, I, I think I could get away with um, possibly uh, like a double lot or, you know, like a number uh, four or, you know, a, you know, a, he a heavier load uh, regardless. So maybe I'll pick up some of that um, to, to do some of that uh, penetrating test. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, this was awesome. I'm about time one of my uh, builds actually worked, right? <laughs> so, anyway guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, for you guys who support me over at Patreon, I uh, really appreciate that. If uh, any of you wanna join my Patreon page, uh, it's, a, it's a dollar a month, so uh, that'd be awesome. But anyway guys, until um, next video, you guys be safe and we will see you then.